what I wanted to emphasize was um I'm not giving a fuck, man. I mean, like I, I said, uh, complaining is a bitch ass move. Gossiping is a bitch ass move. And caring what, and seeking external validation as a male is a bitch ass move. So, guys, you gotta understand. You got you have to get to a point where you really don't give a fuck. Now, I, that doesn't mean that you don't give a fuck what anybody on the planet thinks, because something that we, we'll probably talk about in another episode is the fact that you need a mentor or mentors. You know what I mean? Or, or, or a, a, a man figure that you respect that you may want to emulate. Now, those are the people, you know, you may want to care what they think. They may, if you, if you coming out wearing something crazy, they may look at you and be like, yo, young, young, young man, you know, that's not really professional. That's not saying you have to listen to it, but it's good to, you know, to, to heed. Um, to be open. To be open to take in the elder's advice. But aside from the mentors, yeah, you shouldn't give a fuck what nobody think about you, what nobody say about you. I've gone to a point uh, the way I used to be was if somebody said something negative about me, I would try to defend it. Or uh, I should say if somebody made a, a negative rumor about me. I would try to defend it. Mm. I would try to get it outdated, like, nah, da, da, da. Now, if there's a negative rumor about or a negative rumor out there about me, let it fly. I really want to see who believes that bullshit. Because if you my man, you close to me or you somebody who knows me personally and you believe that bullshit that's flying out there. Thank you for showing me who you are. I will demote you down to an associate or to somebody I just say, you know, just say hi and bye to. But uh, bottom line is having that I don't give a fuck mentality. This is not something that you just this is not something that you just wake up one morning and then you just happen to have it. Like you really got to start having introspection. I think the first question you have to ask yourself is why the, why the fuck you look, looking for external validation? Yeah. What, what is that external validation going to do for you? You want you want a little Susie to say that you you handsome you want you wish that you know, you know Kelly thought that you know that the what the outfit that you had on look good you know you want you want validation from your boss you want you want your boss to tell you did a good job man fuck that shit you go there you go to your work you do your job the way you're supposed to do it and, and you get paid is my camera still working yeah you yeah. good yeah um yeah you do your job man. Anyway, you can hear the audio but yeah. bottom line is if you with the I don't get the, the benefits of having an I don't give a fuck mentality is the fact that it gives you peace. It gives you peace right. off top because um just like afi said earlier uh how somebody will be so stuck in what they you know, oh my camera yeah, just turn the camera off and turn it back on yeah let me come back on it real quick so you guys right. said some you guys said a lot of excellent points but um what lda said was very important i think the guys the audience will really get a um in regards and i think afi alluded to this earlier about evolving and needing less women now let me guys let me guys ask you guys a question you know we're older now LD is 51. I'm going to be 49. You guys are in your 40s. Um, <clears throat> do you find now you need less women because of the fact that you don't have time for them? Or you can find as much value in one or two women? Is there more value with not necessarily settling down, but just being a little bit more consistent with one, somebody who's going to compliment you as opposed to having a stable of women? <sighs> That's, I mean, that's a loaded question, but I think a lot of guys listening may really benefit from your perspective. When, when it comes to having the loaded women and the high rotations and the sex partners and all of that, we 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 put that information in go because that's what all men feel like. You know, put it like this: men, whether we like it or not, are are based on their alphaness, on their ability, of how good they are with women because women are the most desirable thing for a man. Right. You no, know, straight up. So, you know, you, you know that whether you accept it or not. So, <laughs> shit. I didn't forgot that what I was going to goddamn say, man. Nah, but you, but no, nah, uh, nah, but let me say this while you, while you gather your thoughts, because you said something earlier as well in terms of just remembering, um, you know, Oh, oh. I got it now. I got it now. Oh, my bad. Um, no, you good. So it's uh, so about having like the least women. It's just so so we put that information on the pedestal. But the thing is, is there's a lot of headaches and shit that come with that, man. It ain't always fun, bro. Dude, these bitches be stupid. I and know, bro. Their headaches, and even if they cooperate, that ain't always fun either. You know what I'm saying? You may get the cooperations from the ones you ain't even wanting it from, and then the other ones on some other shit. And then you know you got this kind of shit. And then this one got pregnant. Then. This one over oh, here, God. she doing this. And then this one over there, you tell her you love her. Now her baby daddy went upside her head. So now what you going to do? And so it ain't always fly. 
They come with a lot of shit, man. Get your yeah. shit fucked up. You got bitches calling your job and shit. I had, man, I, re I remember when I was like 20 years old, man, I had bitch, the police calling my job and shit because this bitch was on the run. Now I got to explain the shit behind her and shit. I'm 20. I'm young as fuck. Like, you, this shit ain't always fly and fun. It ain't always orgies and menage a trois. Even that, y'all be wanting to have a menage a trois, but y'all don't even know the part where afterwards, now your bitch act all weird with you and shit. Oh, God. Um, and now, and now, now, now she think you fucking her. Or now, now, every, she knows every time you're looking at somebody else. Like, it ain't just the fun parts. You know right. And, and you know what's interesting, what LDA was saying as well about the play thing and the main thing. I've gone through that as well um and you know at the same time I, I, i've said this on my show as well um for me the play thing has sometimes used to make me better to my main thing but i got sloppy with it and not necessarily sloppy because i was getting caught out there because i didn't keep them in their right categories you know what i'm saying i let the main uh, the, the, the play thing i kind of divulge too much you know what i mean I didn't, I didn't i didn't have parameters with the bitches so the main the, the the play thing made me better to the main thing but i was divulging too much to the play thing and then shit started to get blurry and then i started to lose focus so i guess my thing is for me not having an elder not having a tribe to hold me accountable so i could bounce shit off of i was just making you know as long as i was dicking them down i thought i was doing it right doing the thing but it came at a cost you know what i'm saying losing my main thing getting with the bitch, doing some dumb shit, you know, you know, all the things that we deal with when you're sloppy. And I think that's part of me being a man now, now being a little bit more focused and accountable for the things that I do and the things I include people in, you know what I'm saying? Like right now, if I, you know, when I'm getting with bitches and shit, I have to be really transparent as far as what my intentions are with them because I don't have the time. And I know that if I lead someone astray, and she's feeling me and I and I use my discernment. And I say, yo, this bitch is really starting to fall in love with me. I have to be prepared for the potential consequences of it me of it not working out or going anywhere because I don't really have the intent for it to go anywhere. This is my life right now. So I'm 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 like trying to figure it out at 49. Like it's crazy, bro. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck is going on here? Let me let me say something because it's quite interesting that you're in that space. I, I began in these past couple months to realize well actually last year how important it is to protect my brand boom to protect hey, my that guys sorry about that I have some technical how, how to protect my how to protect my brand boom. my brand is everything that i do and i have to think does this woman if we out in the streets and we out whatever the case may be does she represent my brand so i had to really take an inventory who comes into my life and who i bring I forgive an example about, you know, the situation when the cops come in there. I, I had a situation where the, I was messing with this young girl years ago and I just started this new job, man. I was excited. I got I finally got in. I get a call. Officer Adams. I went, how y'all know as an officer? What's going on? They say, hey, um, were you with Susie Q? I said, uh, yeah. Well, we can't wake her up. I said, oh, oh Lord Jesus. I did, I'm going to jail. Yikes. She was already at 20. She was 22. I'm in my 40s. Mm. So I'm like, oh, I'm going. To I'm like, I, my face, I, my whole continent dropped. I was, I was gone. So well, well, we can't wake her up. What happened was I dealt with this young girl, brought her over. She was, she had, trying to know she drunk before. I told her, hey, babe, I need you to drink that Gatorade that was on there. I'm not drinking no Gatorade. Give it to me, daddy. I'm like, okay. all right, I'm about to give it to oh. you. I said, let's, <laughs> let's run it. I ran it. I, 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 I mean, I, I was in there. Well, I took her home that morning, and I dropped her over her cousin's house. And that's when the police. That's when I got the call from the hospital from the police saying, "Hey, we can't wake her up." What happened was she had dehydrated, and I said, "Man, she them electrolytes." Yeah, and I was trying to give her the Gatorade, and she didn't take it. I said, "You know what? I didn't think about this. I wasn't at this level where I'm at now, as far as with doing all of this. What if that would have came out?" Now it's out now, whatever the case may be. Whatever it came up at this juncture in my life, mm. my sons would have said, mm. well, what happened is now this this is on my brand. This is on what I do. Very important. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't have sex with this girl and now she can't wake up. How does that look? And I said, you know what? Let me make, let me make some adjustments on who I 
Ooh, I stick my dick in. Mm. Oh, there you go. Let me just let me just because everyone does not deserve to see or to deal with what I have. My grandmother used to say something years ago. She said, said she, um, she called me little Larry. You know what? You can't eat at everybody's house, and you shouldn't go visit everybody's house. Mm. I'm like, oh, I thought she was talking about food or just going to visit. No, 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 no. Mm. <laughs> Everyone cannot go and pet the snake at the zoo. Yes, sir. If they do, they may get they might get bit. And I realize every woman does not deserve that attention to even look the one eye, the one eye, the one eye snake in the eye. And too many times we've been driven by the one eye snake and it's been wrapping us around and not the woman. Mm. And so I had to realize my attention and my what and who who's allowed to even participate in the aquamy i'm too valuable mm. i'm too valuable i'm, I'm gonna leave it right there y'all got y'all got uncle larry coming out oh uh, that's, mm. that's what we're looking for we need uncle larry out here man. dark mode is there something about females that you wanted to know but could never figure out are you struggling with relationships do you feel like you're being taken advantage of by the women in your life do you want to know how to leverage the playing field to your favor well, did you know that the female mind and the female psyche are mysterious and unexplored regions like the dark web of the internet? For this reason, men need a method of decrypting or hacking the manipulative psyche or dark web of the female mind. Once a man has a deep understanding of true female nature, he will then be able to hack her programming. Access granted. The purpose of this book is to help grown males evolve into men so that they can treat the women in their lives accordingly. You win. Sixty-three percent of youth suicides, yeah, are from single mother homes. Ninety percent of homelessness and runaway children are from single mother homes. You can't homes. put that on the mother. Eighty-five percent mm. of no. children who show behavioral disorders are from single mother homes. 80% of rapists with anger problems are from single mother homes. 71% of high, high school dropouts are from single mother homes. 70% of youths in operated institutions are from single mother homes. 80% of all the youths that are in prison are from single mother homes. This shows that boys and girls need both their mother and their father to be fu fully functioning members of society.